It's Gail with Gail Southern Living. Welcome to my kitchen. Guys, today I'm going to be participating in an open collaboration hosted by Heather at Milk and Honey Heritage Farms. And it is called Hashtag Hot and Cold Drinks. And it's going to be for the entire year of 2024. So you can do a hot drink or a cold drink. All right, so I've been trying to put this video together for a while. So let's see how it comes out today. All right, so I'm going to be making a pina colada smoothie, and I have this pineapple juice. So I'm going to open this up. We had actually bought this for something else. Um, so for my pineapple, I'm going to do pineapple juice. Now you could do actual pineapples if you have them. Uh, they're not exactly in season right now. And I try to buy fruit that's in season, usually. So we're going to do one cup of pineapple juice. Now, I'm only making this for one person. If you're making it for two, you would want to do two cups. And I'm going to do one cup of almond milk. And I'm going to do three stevia packets. I'm trying to watch some of the sugar that I put into myself. So you could use regular sugar if you're not trying to watch your sugar. All right. I'm going to do half a scoop of vanilla protein powder and I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of coconut but I'm going to try it again later. Let's make that a whole half a teaspoon. Now I would usually do coconut milk but I couldn't find any in my pantry. So the coconut is going to be the almond extract. I would do actual coconut, but I like my smoothies to be smooth, not have little pieces of stuff in them. I'm going to do one whole banana. I'm going to save the banana peel so I can use it in my garden. So there's my banana. And here's my bit. Here's my jars of banana water. So I'll go ahead and add this to my jars of banana water. I'll just cut this up into about one inch pieces and put it in the refrigerator for about three days. And you do have to keep it in the refrigerator. All right, so in place of ice cream or pudding or Greek yogurt or whatever, I'm gonna try this with Dream Whip, which is what you use to make pies or homemade whipped cream kind of stuff. So we're going to see how this comes out. It's kind of an experiment. All right, I have one more ingredient. I'll be right back. And I'm going to add one cup of overflowing ice. Okay. And I'm going to give it a blend. Okay. You think if I was going to make a recipe with a blender, I would have the blender lid right here, but no. <laughs> Looks like it's done. All right, so I'm going to pour this into my glass. I use these metal straws instead of plastic. And looks like this is going to be about two helpings. Let's see if it's good or if it needs something. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is totally me just improvising and throwing things together. This is delicious. You totally need to try it. I will list the description box in, I'm getting tongue tied. I will list the recipe in the description box uh, for you. And don't forget to save your banana peels. Uh, this is an open collaboration put on by Heather at Milk and Honey Heritage Farms. 
you still have time to join it, you'll just use the hashtag, tag her channel, and she'll add you to a playlist. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe today. It is delicious. I de definitely recommend it. I give it five stars. You guys have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind. Bye, everybody.